you are here with the Vidya method of numerology. So I'm handing this over to you in the sense that please tell us what is the Vidya method and why or how is it different from regular numerology? Joy Gurudev join, ma. First of all, the way we perceive the world. Guruji, sorry, a little louder. Your voice has become very soft suddenly. Now is it okay? Perfect. So, first of all, the way we perceive the world, the way we perceive ourselves, depends on our shades that you reminded me about in the beginning. The shades is our own mind. Mind, as per the scriptures of Vidya, is Maya. Maya means illusion. Illusion doesn't mean untruth or false. It means that which is limited or that which is on the boundary of true and false both. Now this Maya means measure, that which can be measured. So everything including us and everything that we can perceive is within boundaries, is within measures. Measures means nothing else but just numbers. Everything that is measured is measured in numbers, whether you want to measure it in speed, in volume, in taste, in height, whichever way. Numbers are the source of knowing, perceiving anything and everything and also yourself. These numbers, they have their magical effect. Like for example, there's a beautiful explanation given of the word dosti. One word in Hindi for friendship is Maitri. And one word in Urdu Hindi for friendship is Dosti. Generally, when our parents tell us that your friends are responsible for your downfall, for your you know, doom. They call your friends as dost and your dosti. But when they say that your friendship is very good for you, they say they call friendship as maitri. This is in the mind. Dosti has the number two. Do asti. Asti means dead bodies. You become friends with one more person who is not the right person for you. You both are dead. And Maitri has number three in it. Maitri. And Tre means also that. When you become one with that person, you all three become one. You unite and you become one and you start working like a force, one force. Numbers are everywhere. Even alphabets are numbered. The sounds, the alphabets, they also have a unique effect on you. Vidya numerology is different because the scriptures of numerology, numerology, the science, the art started from India. Then it went outside. Kiru and others, other experts, they took it outside and they created their own science. But this science is actually written in Sanskrit. The numbers are written in Devanagari. If you see... Each number has its own unique yantra. 
and can anyone from the audience tell me what is the yantra of each number what is the yantra of number one does anyone know can raise your hands well i'm going to wait to see if they write in i'm uh, the the yantra of each number ramanji has raised his hand yes so ramanji please just write it in the group Shivani, you can please Ramanji. write it on the group, yeah, Ramanji. Write it in the Shivani ji. Correct. If someone can tell me because my staff has taken both my phones. Yes, we're waiting for them to try. Uh, Seema says it's the shape. It's the shape of? That's all she's written. It's the shape. When you say what is the yantra, she's saying it's the shape. Mm -hmm. so, Surya yantra says Aarti. No, not the Surya Yantra. The way you write one in Devanagari, that is the Yantra of number one. The way you write number two in Devanagari, that is the Yantra of number two. The way you write number three in Devanagari, that is the number, that is the Yantra of number three. I think that's what Seema meant, uh, Guruji. Yes, the shape, shape of the, of the number, the, how you write no, it. That how you the, write it. Correct. That is the Yantra. Correct, Seema ji. Now, if this is the yantra of the number, then your numerology, if it revolves around it, you will know that numbers are mind and the art of mind, the highest, the biggest art, without offending anyone, is hypnosis. Numbers, numerology, names which can cause an impact on the mind, positive or negative, is in true sense numerology. Is in true sense numerology. That is Vidya numerology. Now, if you know in old ancient Devanagari, how you write five or six, they are pointing towards their right. How you write two? It's pointing towards the left. You write two, right? The point of the, the upper point of the two is pointing the left side. Three is pointing the right side. Now you are deciding a price list for yourself or a menu for your restaurant or a price for your online course. If the number before two is higher than two, if you say 923 rupees or 921 rupees, people will find your price to be higher because human mind tends to see where the arrow is pointing. The arrow of two is pointing towards the left side. In the same way, if your amount after three or five or six is higher than three, five or six, your clients will find your price as higher and will not choose your product. For example, if you are saying 936 rupees or 956 rupees or 959 rupees or 969 rupees, their site will be on the nine. The nine which is mentioned after the uh, three, six, or nine. If you know these tactics, you will know that numerology is an art to understand the mind, to control the mind, to influence the mind of yours and others. For example, if I say Iqbal ji or Nilu ji, you can check your breath, you have started breathing faster. But if you have a pet name like Bobby ji, that might be his pet name. If I call out his pet name, he's not going to breathe faster. This is the science of numerology of Vidya. 
there's nothing called magic. I've not done any magic to make Neeluji or Iqbalji breathe faster. You can comment on the group. I have not done any magic that Bobby G will be breathing in normal breath. But this kind of tricks, this kind of things which influence your mind, if you know them, life will become easy for you. And people will believe that you are magical or you are doing some magic. Recently, I had gone to Nasik, uh, to Shaptishringi and the mountains near that. I was gone with my Guru Bhai and his disciples. My Guru, my co-student who was with my Guru and his disciples. We meant to be there to do some practices and to buy some herbs because that person was suffering from some kind of issues, herpes and all that. And he wanted some medical herbs. And we met the tribals over there. The tribals had smartphones. But when they saw my fold phone, they thought that I have put two phones in one cover, which is a double cover. I told them, no, this is one phone, which is a fold. And they said, you are a magician. You are an amazing magician. How did you join two folds together? They had herbs. One child was not speaking. This tribal pushed the nose, hold the nose tight of this child and pushed in few herbs and forced him to swallow those herbs. The child was crying, crying, crying. I said, let him go, what are you doing? But he said, wait. After the child consumed those herbs, he started speaking after crying. In fact, the first things he said was that he was abusing the tribal to force the herbs in his mouth. But he started speaking by abuses, not by calling mommy, papa. But he started by abusing. I said, you people are magicians. They said, this is simple science. I told them, this phone is simple science. In the same way, everything that you think is God or spirituality or magic in numerology is simple science which affects your mind. Is simple science which can hypnotize your mind as well as the other person's mind in your favor. And this is the moral and this is the juice and this is the complete conclusion of what is Vidya numerology. For example, if you don't mind Neeluji, can I tell you one thing which I had already said in three, four, five, five summits before. Five summits before, we had a testimonial of one of my disciples from Kolkata. Her name was Namrata Berry, if you people remember, if Neeluji remembers. From 2018-19, her work was going down the drain. She is the owner of a restaurant and then came covid and COVID, her work was totally shut down. She had all the time in the world after that. She had nothing good to do. So she and her husband were running the restaurant and she joined my numerology course. That is how we met. She learned how to do the pricing. And you won't believe she increased the price of all her products. The, pro, the roti or something that she was selling for 49, she made it 54. Because the number after five will tell you whether the product is expensive or not. Generally, all the restaurant people, specifically small restaurants, they have a habit of writing cheaper items first and expensive later on. 
I told her reverse it. Let the expensive items, the most expensive items go on the top. She did the changes. She designed a new menu. One of my cousin, Dharmesh, he helped him to design the menu, the colors, the pricing as per numerology. And she said, Guruji, you are magic. Online orders, when all the restaurants are closed, have started flowing and we don't have any staff because we have removed everyone from this price list. They just distributed the price list. Somehow they managed to get a cook. First she was cooking, her husband was cooking. Delivery started. After the delivery, the restaurant started and now the restaurant is doing so good that she doesn't have time to do any other courses with me. <laughs> right. So this looks like magic. This sounds like magic. But it is only understanding human mind and what will influence human mind. All the prices, there was not a single price which she reduced. All the prices were increased. And clients were increased, profits were increased, work was increased, fame was increased, everything was increased. So this is the power of numerology. That okay. it works on the human mind, yours and others. That is Vidya numerology.